Now it's time to talk about system tracts. And one of the best places to do so is not so far from here. From Yasib, we're going to take the car, drive down the valley, it's a narrow mountain road, to the wadis, the, the valleys at the bottom, and I'll show you a spectacular outcrop. Follow me. We're now in Wadi Bani Karuz. When I used to take our students to Oman for our carbonate field course, this was our last stops. And it's because behind me you can clearly see a spectacular angular unconformity. At the base of the unconformity, those stilted carbonates are neoproterozoic in age. Above the unconformity, what you see are, are the same Permian carbonates that we saw on the road to Yasib. So those corals that we saw before were clearly right above this unconformity. So we can deduct that these shallow water corals represented the transgressive system tract of a base level rise. And that's why I selected this outcrop for this class on system tracts. So now let's look at how we tracked system tracts in clastic systems. So in clastic, we typically want to track the beach sand. So the beach facies is our indicator of what happens in terms of base level change. So if I show you here this typical Exxon slug diagram that you're probably familiar with, and if I gray out everything but the beach facies, we're left with that yellow facies, and it's very obvious that during the low stand track, the LST, the beach facies is the furthest towards the basin, during the TST, we have retrogradation of those beach facies. And then once we get to the maximum flooding surface, that's where we have an inflection and a change in trajectory of these beach sand. Now they start to prograde towards the basin. That's because base level rise is slowing down. And so sedimentation takes over and we have progradation of the whole system. In carbonate, it is, a, it is slightly different. We don't really track the beach facies. Instead, what we do is we track the reef tract, or if you don't have a reef, the shoals in a ramp, for instance. So if we look at this image here, this is a diagram from what happens in the Bahamas. We see that by tracking the reef, we see that we clearly have aggradation and progradation in this case. And then on top of this, we have a sequence boundary and then the low stand is characterized by a low stand carbonate wedge. It's a small carbonate factory and that represents a downstepping. So we talk about a downstep margin in carbonate systems. And the really interesting thing here is that for carbonates, we can preserve the high stand and the low stand because carbonates are lithified, so they tend to not be resedimented during low stand. So looking at the low stand wedge, what we see is we have progradation because we are now in a situation where there's not a lot of space for carbonates to grow and the carbonate factory is relatively small, but still it outpaces accommodation change, so we have progradation. But I insist this is a really small area of production. And then when base level goes back up, what we have is the next cycle, which starts by retrogradation of the facies. Remember what we saw in the previous class, followed by progradation and aggradation. So let's look at a, a different example, this time from the Mediterranean. This is Capoblanco from uh, Mallorca. And the point I'm making is that the pattern we saw is not limited to the Bahamas. We have this downstepping margin in orange here that we see just as well in Mallorca for the Miocene than we did in the uh, Bahamas. And in fact, by looking at where the reef track is, you can even tra trace smaller scale, so lower amplitude base level changes. So in summary, in carbonates, the best way to track in what system tract you are, if you have seismic data or an outcrop, is to refer to an antecedent surface. 
the intestinal surface often is the top of a previous high stand tract. So in this case, you see this intestinal surface here with a reference point, which is just the edge of the top of the shelf. So right where the, the shelf gives way to the uh, slope. And the low stand tract will be characteristic because it will start below your antecedent surface, so below the top of your previous high stand, and will, it will tend to prograde, again, because we have low change in accommodation and we have um, production on that low stand wedge. The transgressive system tract will start below the reference point, but will then come above it and typically will retrograde. And the high stand tract is characterized by a shift in the direction of the uh, accumulation of carbonates. And so it will start above the reference point and it will prograde. So we place the maximum flooding surface in carbonates be at the point where the retrogradation is replaced by progradation. So in that sense, it's similar to clastic system, except that we use the reef or the shoal to track those changes. So these system tracks are not equal in terms of volume. The low stand tract, as I said, is a relatively narrow margin on the side of a previously larger platform. And it's characterized by mainly reefs, very few fine grain, muddy sediments, no tidal flat or anything like this, because the area of the position is narrow, maybe one or two kilometers maximum. So the wave energy remains high throughout most of this area. And the production is not very high. The transgressive system track is very thin because of course the carbonates cannot keep up with base level change. So you never accumulate a lot of carbonates. They, they tend to retrograde towards the higher grounds, either the top of a precedent platform or you know the, the continent if you're on the continent. The TST, however, is really the best time for T factory carbonates. The TST is the most um, volumetric of all of the system tracks in carbonates. That's when most of the production happened because there is a high stand, most of the shallow seas, most of the shallow areas are under water, so you have a shallow sea. And if you're in tropical water, this is paradise for autotroph T style production. So that's when we have most of the production.